Hi, it's Sandra here from Creating Spain and today I'm making a shaker card. Unisex shaker card, maybe if it was for a gentleman you might want to change the shape. You could make it into a wine glass for example rather than a cocktail glass, perhaps. But there again, some guys probably like cocktails too. So I have my pieces ready to go together. I've got my base card, I've got my front panel and then I have my acetate or my plastic. I have my foam cut out. I have a cocktail type stick and then I have my base. Now you may or may not be able to see on the base that I've actually got this uh, it's not cut through, it's just scored, and I did that simply by lessening the pressure on that particular cut. And the reason I've done that is because I want to do some colouring in, and this gives me the guidelines without having to change over and put a pen in my silver bullet. I just do it like that instead. So what I'm going to do now is to colour this, and I don't have to be careful about not going over the lines because... Everything that's outside of that is going to be covered in any case. I'm going to do a little bit of colouring in that I want to have my drink going up to about there. And I want to do it in various colours because this is going to be something like, I don't know what the drink is called, but um, I don't drink alcohol. But I think it's something like a sunset or a sunrise or something or other. So I've got my colours here. I'm not going to do an awful lot of really fancy blending at all. But I'm just going to give it a basic colouring job. And that was a bit dry. Just a basic colour because it's going to go behind plastic anyway, so you're not going to see it as much as you would if you were straightforward looking at it. And this particular card, I don't think, does much in the way of blending regardless. I don't know what sort of card this is, I just picked it out of my stash and just thought, right, okay, I'll use it and see what happens. not easy for me to do this because I'm trying to keep my head out of the shot. Okay, I think we could do with a slightly different colour on here. Let's try this one. Right, okay, now I'm going to use a blue-grey for the glass. I'm trying to use the thicker nib, maybe that will... Oh, it's dry. That's not very clever. Just on the edge here. This one's definitely running out. Okay, I have dark blue light here which is a very it's near colourless it's not quite colourless but it's very close to so this is quite a good one for doing sort of glass effects where you just want a little bit of colour in it but not much and go ahead to put a little bit of colour down a little bit of colour. Right here. Now this stem is going to be given some shadow on either side, by the way. <clears throat> and I know it looks terrible at the moment, but don't worry about it. It will look much better when I've finished. Mm 
Maybe I'll put some of that over here as well. This one blends in there quite nicely. It's got so little pigment in it. It tends to blend it out. This card is not the best card for doing this by the looks of things, but never mind. Let's just check what it's going to look like when it's got something over the top of it. You see, it suddenly looks a lot better. It's amazing how that works, isn't it? Right, so that's my base. The next thing I need to do is to put my cocktail stick in here. And to do that, I'm going to use some tacky glue. on the glue because you don't want it to go everywhere else and if need be you can pick it up with tweezers this is cut out of a gold glitter card and I need to place it exactly where the cut line is so I'm going to take this out of a shot a second otherwise you just get a shot of my head which I'd rather not give you to check it's in the right place and there it is and the next layer we need on here is the foam layer now this is being cut so that it is slightly bigger than the base drawing so what I'm going to do is to put some glue on the back of this and then put it over that so I'm just going to switch off while I do the gluing anyway it fits onto there really nicely so now we have the fun bit which is adding all the bits and pieces for the shaker and I like doing this bit. I have here a tub of mixed sequins and I got these in a pound shop in the UK when I was over last time. I think these are great colours for this particular thing and I'm going to put some down in the base as well because I want them everywhere. Why not? Okay, the only place I don't want them is on top of my phone rather than in it. But uh, these things being as tiny as they are, there's usually one or two escapees amongst them. Come on, my finger. I'll put the lid on that before I drop them. <laughs> Couldn't imagine the mess that would make. Oh, don't think about that. <clears throat> it has some little gold beads. I'm going to put some of those in there and a few down in there. I have some multicolour stars. I'm just going to take a pinch of those and put those in. It's going to be a very exotic cocktail, this one. And I have here some, they're kind of iridescent little beads but they're really pretty so I'm going to put some of those in as well. Now I need to put my top on so I need to glue my acetate on top of there. What I can do is 
glue it to here first. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure this hairs everywhere. Make sure this gets glued all the way around here. Now because this particular design is not symmetrical because the cocktail stick, make sure you're putting the glue on the correct side of the card. And no, I haven't put it on the wrong side of the card before, but I could imagine me doing it. It's the sort of thing I would do. There we are. And there we go. Now we smooth it out, smooth it away from the hole. Doesn't matter if it goes out a little bit to the outer edges, but it matters if it goes into your hole area because you really don't want to see that. It helps to have some tissues or wet wipes to wipe your fingers as well and to dry them because you'll be putting glue over your project where it's not supposed to be. Right, so we have a little escapee there, and there's a little bead I notice escaped. Right, I think everything else is in place. So what I need to do now is to put that on top of there. And I'm just going to spread these out a bit so that they aren't so high. There we are. And now I can go around here with my glue. I find it helps if you keep the bottle actually on the item that you're trying to glue because you don't tend then to get too many globules coming out. You tend to get a smoother flow of glue and you're less likely to make a complete and utter mess. Make sure you put some around the edges and don't forget the larger areas like so. It has to be lined up because that one is slightly bigger. There we go. And if you've got the chance, just leave it alone for a little while until it is all set. But you can see we've got some nice shaker movement there, even if I have lost one or two. And we just have to put it on here. Now, the shaker panel is the same size as the card front, so that should theoretically be quite easy to do, she says, hopefully. <laughs> It's always when you say something like that, that something goes drastically wrong. There. That's enough glue, I think. And you can literally just put it together like that because it is the same size. So that's much easier to do than having one which is a slightly different size than your front. So there we have most of the shaker bit done. Well, we've got all the shaker bit done, but I haven't quite finished on the decoration. I have the sentiment that I chose, which is another birthday. Now, if I knew who I was going to give this to, I might, for example, have it saying another 21st birthday or another 50th birthday whatever it may be but because i don't know who i'm going to give this card to i'm just going to put another birthday on it and you might or might not want to add an exclamation mark depending on how many birthdays the person has had so i'm going to put this at an angle press down 
Now I'm using a clear acrylic varnish to do this and the reason being I just find it sticks well, it comes out of the bottle easily that I've put it in at least and it's much easier to get this to flow through a fine tip for lettering purposes than it is a traditional glue so because I find if I've got a glue which is thin enough generally to do that then it doesn't actually stick very well but this stuff sticks extremely well so we have another birthday on there and finally I have some other embellishments that I want to put on I've got these and they are yellow tinted but they're sort of like uh, borealis ones almost so they sort of reflect different colours and what I'm going to do is to take off an entire strip at a time starting at the top and just tearing off the ones that I don't want. I'm going to make them varying length. Hopefully I'm going to get them in straight lines. It's quite difficult for me to do this under the camera because normally I prefer to do it with my head directly over it. But as I said before, trying to keep my head out of the shot is one of my priorities. And a nice long strip there, I think. separated off of it and another strip here oops not gone straight that one luckily with these if you get them fast enough you can usually move them like I've really quite press these down quite hard to get them to adhere thoroughly <laughs> it's adhering to itself instead of what I want it to adhere to. Okay, that one's going to go. That's going to be one shorter than it was going to be. And a bit there. another one down here maybe I'll stick this one down on underneath this one there we go card finished Uh, once you've got all the pieces cut out, it's not particularly difficult to put this one together. But I think it's a nice, pretty card. As it, you know, if it's for a guy, maybe you don't want to bother with all the diamante bits. Maybe you'll put something else on. Um, but also, you could use this a particular shape to make a stencil. You can make it smaller, so you've got little mini glasses and things like that. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that, and I hope you are too. Thanks for watching. Take care now.